Hello there, Bert Kurtz here. First of all, thank you very much for all the pleasant attention I got uh, for the first video. I got a lot of questions, I made some friends. Uh, I got advice for problems I didn't know that exist. So that was a wonderful experience. Today is the first uh, tutorial and I would like to start with the simple logic gate. If you are searching on the internet you'll find many many suggestions for logic gates. Um, I think it's important that you try them in practice and what I mean by that is um, make a NAND gate with five inputs or make ten NOT gates in series and see if they propagate well. Make a NAND gate which uh, lights up three LEDs in parallel. That way you know that your uh, end result will work. I did a lot of experiments and I uh, finally agreed to the N, sorry, 2N3904 transistor with a 270 ohm transistor and for the signal a 2.2 kilo ohm transistor. Uh, these might be a bit uh, light resistors which uh, will use in a lot of uh, power consumption but I can propagate it endlessly and I never had any problems so I stick to that personally. Then it's about building logic gates from transistors. Here you see uh, my uh, what is it three NAND gate, three input NAND gate, two input NAND gate and a NOR gate. I use only gates that start with an N so an OR gate is a NOR gate with NOT and a buffer, for example, is uh, two NOT gates. Here I have the NOT gate in detail. As you see, uh, if you go to uh, Easy EDA, you can uh, ask for a grid, and then you can put on the, these uh, little circles, and this will be, will be holes, which you can solder. I make my gates in Easy EDA. There's a screen there, that tells you how to make a PCB and I just enter holes in this pattern for a NOT gate. As you can see uh, I already uh, connected the two dots between the T and the two dots between the right R. This uh, saves you a lot of uh, soldering later. Same here for the two input NAND gate and the three input NAND gate. And the last one I give an example of is the NOR gate. This is a bit more complicated in uh, connecting all the dots. And I see that on the left I forgot to connect the first two transistor dots. I will change that. Each board needs to be connected with the rest of the CPU. So at the bottom of the board I made a series of uh, <coughs> holes so you can uh, put in a connector and uh, connect it to the rest of the computer. Here you see an example of how I did it. I have plus and minus for the board then the three channels 0, 1, 2 and 3 the select button, the out button and the output 0, 1, 2 and 3. Okay now you can imagine how to build a logic gate but we are going to build a register. So I looked it up in a sort of a Bible, a book called uh, But How Do It Know? from Scott. And he came up with the following minimal circuits you need to uh, register data. Uh, I do advise you to read the book. It's, it's just fun. It's simple, but fun. If you copy all the right um, logic gates in the right order and connect them the right way, you should get a picture like this. In the latter part of the um, video I will leave a link where you could download this, but I highly recommend that you do this uh, yourself. Then you have to, ma um, you have to make a Gerbil file on e EDA, which is also included in the GitHub that I made. Perhaps a small uh, side, side path I would like to take. For me it was a huge step to make my first uh, PCB. Uh, I ended up with JLC PCB 
because their program works really well for people that don't do this every day. They have a free uh, drawing prog program, Easy EDA. Uh, I use the standard edition and uh, it leads you through a process which gen in the end generates a Gerber file which has all the, all the data they need to make your product. Then you go to the website and the process is really simple. Um, it's, it's really not hard and the cost is uh, really uh, attractive. I believe that uh, for the first five boards I ordered I was uh, uh, five euros poorer and that included shipping. Uh, my hobby uh, bench is now full with blue boxes um, and I never made a mistake. It's really wonderful, wonderful service. I can recommend it. Here I show you how to go through the process of uh, testing a board. This is a register board. I first uh, connect plus and minus the data lines and the output and then I toggle the set pin around and I toggle the output pin around and the results uh, as you can see uh, it really does what it needs to do. I always test every board uh, before I put it on the big computer because if there are issues you want to know you want to trust your board basically. I hope this is all clear to you. If uh, it needs to be done in more detail I'll show it in more detail. Let me know. Um, I'll give you some footage of the second board I, I would like to uh, present now and that is the uh, the adder. I put two adders on a board. I'll, I'll sh share here the, the schematic and I'll see, share the testing of the board as well. The Gerber file and the halfway building in EasyDDA file will be in GitHub. Here's some footage of the register at work in the computer. You can see that uh, there are three registers, two on the left, one on the right. They're all set on five. Uh, the computer reads in the number... So, sorry, there are not four. <laughs> the computer will read in number five and then will send it to the other two registers on the left. You can see it uh, takes exactly one uh, clock cycle. In the, one of the next videos I'll explain exactly how the electronic control works, but that the boards work is for sure. I will conclude with the GitHub uh, here in view. Um, if you have any trouble with it, let me know. And that's it for this video. Um, I'll be back in uh, three or four weeks uh, with the next one. Bye bye!